Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars, and today we're gonna to talk about how to set up ads so that you can take over those large niches. You ready? Let's get started. Okay, so the money is in these large niches. We've talked about this, and at least this is how I choose to go about selling shirts on merch by Amazon. I don't think that it is worthwhile personally to go into these tiny thousands of micro niches that are just getting one to two sales a month. I think that it is much more profitable profitable, and it's going to really benefit you to move, get more income coming in faster if you're able to break into these larger niches. But there is that problem of how do you get seen in these larger niches if, like we're going to talk about today, you're going after the breast cancer niche. Breast cancer is massive and it's a year round niche, but there is a ton of sales volume there. I get at least one to two sales every day that have to do with breast cancer. And so today we're gonna to talk about how I rank these shirts and get them selling within maybe a month or two. So the first thing is you're going to have to find this large niche. And if you do something different than breast cancer, then good for you. This is just an example of one large niche that is, and gives you the blueprint for how to break into these niches. Now, to do this, starting out, you're going to need to do the keyword research by using the Amazon search bar at the top. And there's an extension, I'll put a link to the extension that I use in the description box below. Of um, It's a keyword expander. So you type in breast cancer shirts and then it expands into like a whole bunch of different options for what people are currently searching for on Amazon. So you might get stuff like breast cancer shirts for moms or breast cancer shirts for women moms. And these are the keywords you're going to need to focus on first. The ones that have those sub niche qualities. So what you're gonna do is target these keywords that have a fewer amount of competition. So maybe breast cancer shirt, breast cancer awareness shirt for ants. And then you're going to want to put this in your title starting out and it's going, but okay, back up just a little bit. Sorry about that. We're going to need to design this shirt to be somewhat general in the beginning, because the goal is you're going to want to get this on the front page of breast cancer awareness shirts. So you're going to want to design something that is just an original and almost generic breast cancer design shirt. So anyway, back on track. You've now got the keywords that is for a sub niche. So breast cancer awareness shirt for ants. Now you're going to go into AMS or Amazon advertising. I don't know what the console is called now. And you're going, but sorry, breaking one more time. You're going to put breast cancer awareness shirts for ants in the title of your shirt. And then you're going to go into AMS and you're going to create the campaign. Now the campaign needs to be an automatic campaign. And that means that they're going to, Amazon is going to take over the display of what, who sees your shirt. You're not going to have any discretion over which keywords or who shows it, or if it's shown as a substitute for a different shirt. Amazon is going to handle that for you. And this is going to be great because Amazon knows what to look for and how to get sales. But the key here is you're going to need to set the budget and the bid correctly to make sure that you're not just blowing money because you can get very, very behind using Amazon ads if you're not careful. So to start out, you want to have a daily budget of one dollar and this is the best way to start because it gives amazon very little to work with so if amazon's going to spend that money they're going to have to be efficient and this is the same thing that i learned with facebook ads a while back is that if you give facebook or amazon five dollars a day to spend and they can just run with that and they can spend five dollars a day and it's not that much for them to discriminate with because they have a larger budget. If you give them $1 a day and you set your cost per click at 25 to 35 cents, that means that they have four shots at the most of getting this ad in front of people. So Amazon is going to have to be a little, 
even more particular of how they show this product and who they show this product to to actually get sales because Amazon, believe it or not, is actually there to help you make sales. So you're going to put the long tail keyword in the title of this shirt that has a generic design. You're going to create an automatic campaign. You're going to set the daily budget at $1 cost per click at 25 to 35 cents. And then you're going to let this go and you're going to monitor it every day. Now, if you get to five to seven dollars spent with zero sales, then turn off the campaign. Just turn it off because it's obviously not working. Anyway, so if you get some sales and you're noticing that your impressions are high and your clicks are low, that means that people really aren't that interested in your design. If your clicks are high but your sales are low, that means that people are probably looking at it because it's an obscure design and they just wanted to, they were curious and they wanted to see what it said. So that could be an indication that maybe your text is too small or it's not able to be read because whenever you design this, you want it to be able to be read as the small thumbnail on Amazon. You don't want people to not be able to read it as that thumbnail because if they can't read it as the thumbnail, they're going to click on it and that's going to cost you money. So when you design these shirts, make sure that it is legible even as a thumbnail. So if your impressions are high and your clicks are low, that means people generally aren't that interested. If your clicks are high and your sales are low, that means that people are just trying to find out what your design actually is and get a better look at it. And you need to revamp that design because people are interested in it, but they're probably more so just trying to actually read what it says because People are genu genuinely curious and they don't care how much they cost you or they probably don't even know if they cost you any money by clicking on an ad. So now you're going to have a few sales. You've got uh, maybe five or so sales and your ACOS is about 17%. This is where you want to be. You want to keep that ACOS below 20% because that means you're basically selling the shirts at cost and then that's going to move you up the rankings and this is going to benefit you. So you've got these sales. Amazon gives you the opportunity to see what keywords people are searching for whenever they bought your shirts. And now this is somewhat simple in the breast cancer niche, but it could be different for every other niche. Now, whenever you see, whenever Amazon gives you the opportunity, whenever you, Amazon gives you the opportunity to see these sales, so what you're going to do to see that is go to the section where you can download a spreadsheet, look at that spreadsheet and categorize it. So by uh, what the title is or by the campaign. So you'll be able to see everything will be ordered in that spreadsheet based on the campaign. And so this way you're going to be able to see all of the keywords that people are searching for whenever they bought your shirt. Now you want to look for, a seed keyword that ha that is in common with all the shirts that are sold. So in the breast cancer niche, for instance, this keyword that I found is obviously breast cancer shirts or breast cancer awareness shirts. Now, the reason I go with this as the seed keyword is because there are a bunch of modifiers that can be added to that that people search for. So breast cancer awareness shirts for aunts, breast cancer awareness shirt for mom, breast cancer awareness shirt for sister. And so what you're going to do with all this, once you see that shirts are selling like that, you see on the Excel spreadsheet that you're getting sales when people search for breast cancer awareness shirt for sister, breast cancer awareness shirt for aunt and all that. You're going to create a different campaign that is manually targeted for phrase match to breast cancer awareness shirt. And whenever you do a manual campaign set to phrase match, that means that they're going to take that seed keyword and add modifiers to it. And they will, Amazon will automatically determine if it get, if whenever someone searches breast cancer shirts for sisters, your design will show up. And that is how you, improve your chances because of the other option that some people talk about on 
YouTube is to do manually targeted designs for just those specific exact match breast cancer shirts for ant size extra small or whatever. And I mean, if you're getting consistently 10 sales per month off of just that one keyword, it's worth doing an exact match. But I like to throw a broader net out there and see who, all, or just catch everyone that could possibly, possibly be searching something related to breast cancer awareness shirt. So once you have that Excel spreadsheet, you're going to see that there is a seed keyword that people are searching. Maybe it's autumn dog shirt. I don't know, this is, <laughs> this is an example, but maybe it's like dog shirt. And then, so you would take, but you see that there's a modifier that converts every time. So dog shirt for dad, dog shirt for brother, dog shirt for sister. So you would go and create a phrase match campaign or a manually targeted campaign that is phrase match for dog shirt. And I'll do my best to put the um, images to go with this so that you'll be able to see what I'm actually talking about if you've never done this before. And that is how I have grown and gotten shirts to rank in the top of the search results because as you get these sales through AMS, it's going to increase your organic ranking as well and then eventually you can just take AMS off and then the organic, organic rank will take over. And that's how I've gotten into the autism awareness space, breast cancer awareness shirts, mental health awareness, leukemia. There's a few others, but this is a tried and true method for me. And if you want me to attempt to go into some bigger niches and you want to see this at work, let me know. Just drop it down in the comments and I will make sure to read them, to respond, and to take this on if it's something that you want me to document. But anyway, that's how I do it. And I can't wait to hear y'all success stories because I know that you're more than capable of doing this. And I know that it is a simple enough formula to follow. And obviously if you have questions, just drop them down below. I'd be glad to chat with you. And remember to like and subscribe to the video. It really does help me out and it helps me to get to more people so that we can help them to improve their chances of making money, investing for the future, and being able to retire living a great life. And just remember, someone's gonna do something great every, every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.